So my name's Kevin. I'm the sous chef over across the way at the Nobly. Um, I don't know if you guys been there. You guys probably have. Uh, you I know, just ate probably... lunch there today. Okay. Mm-hmm. How was it? Everything good? good yeah. Everything good? All right. That's good. That's good. So today I'm going to be making kao mangai. Does anybody know what that is? Thai Anyone's ever Thai chicken oh, over rice. rice. Thai chicken <laughs> over rice. So yeah, so it basically translates to kao meaning rice, man meaning fat, and gai meaning chicken. So rice, fat, chicken, but really uh, chicken fat rice. So basically because basically we're using the um, chicken fat to cook um, the broth. We, we cook the, the rice with the broth. So it's like fat rice, so it's kind of oily, but not too much. So basically we use uh, chicken thighs or a whole chicken. So right here, I have chicken thighs. So basically, So use these chicken thighs. So usually I would like to get it all skin, skin on, but this like has a little fat on because you want the fat. So basically what I do, I trim off the fat. Right here. So trim off the fat. But we also want to keep the fat because we're going to be cooking it in the stock. That's how we make the chicken stock. And that's what's going to be cooking, what we need to cook the rice. So we trim off this and we're going to render this fat off to use. Show you how to render off. Anybody know how to render off uh, fat? No. So basically, you're putting it in a pan, but you cook it at like a low medium. So basically, you want to move it around and move. Then you're gonna release the oils. So this this amount will probably give us like maybe four to five tablespoons worth of oil. So I already rendered it off earlier. So this is how much I got. And this is just regular oil, just in case like I know, because like some people don't have time to render off oil. You know. Hot enough. Huh. That's why we wait for that. So usually I have a stock already. So basically about eight to four, no, six to eight quarts of water. It has ginger in it, garlic, a little bit of salt, and um, a little bit of sugar. So we throw the chicken in here. We go, you don't want to. You want to bring it to a simmer. You don't want to cook the chicken when it's super hot. You don't want the water to be super hot because it's not going to cook evenly. So you want it to be like warm. Then you want to bring up the temperature to about 165. Um, you could um, figure that out by using a thermometer. thermometer. Or you could, um, here's, a, here's a trick. You bring um, the water up to a boil, then you lower it. Then you wait for the water to settle where it's not, there's no bubbles and it's just staying still, but there's steam coming out. So that's usually 165. And you want to cook this for about 20 to 35 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. Leave it in there. Hopefully this gets hot. If not, it's fine. Oh, so I'm, I'm Laos. So that, that is uh, close to Thailand. You guys know the geography, like Southeast Asia. So I'm lost. So this is a comfort food. This is something I would make at home. It's easy to make. It's not complicated. The ingredients are pretty um, easy to get. Uh, I've, I've, I'm from Boston. I've been in Chicago for about 15 years, about 15 years. So a lot of my background is in Southeast Asian cuisine, but I also have a uh, strong background in sushi. I've done sushi for about 12 years. So everything that I do is like based off of Asian cooking, Asian cooking styles. So I have a, uh, I've learned all my knife skills doing Japanese food, which is like, I don't know how familiar you guys with sushi and all that. And you guys, you sushi eaters or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you love sushi? Like what's, what's your favorite sushi? 
what you like to get when you go? The basic like California rolls. The basic California <laughs> rolls. Exactly. That's all I expected, but um, <laughs> <laughs> that's what I expected because most people. But they, like, there's more to sushi than that because there's like a lot. Like it's like when people to what sushi basically means. Basically, it means fish over rice. That's what it is. So there's like then you have all this fish that you wanna compose of. Like if you guys like you guys like eating raw fish, raw fish. So basically, if you go to so big thing right now is omakase. You guys ever heard of that? Oh, it's getting hot. There we go. So you, you when you when it gets hot, you wanna move it around because you don't wanna burn it. So you wanna bring it down to medium heat. Eventually, you're gonna release the oils, and you're gonna get like a uh, chicharrón out of the chicken skin. But, yeah. So, are you gonna bring sushi to the Nobu anytime soon? I mean, if they let me, I don't know what the the regulations, the food regulations are. You know, with like raw fish and stuff. I would love to. You know, mm -hmm. I would love to like expose everybody to like. You know the more than maki rolls, you know, but like, but I know like maki rolls are really popular, but there's more to sushi than just maki rolls, you know. Okay. But you know, you guys have a sushi place, so I don't know. Yeah. Oh, you gotta pay for it. Got you. You don't want to pay for it. Got it. What's what's what you can do? I'll see what I can do. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go around, yeah. be like, sure, Kevin said there'd be sushi. <laughs> <laughs> see what I can do. So you see how, like, you probably can't see it right now, but it's, it's better when the heat's a little bit hotter. These electric group um, stoves aren't the best, but... So you want to move it around, let the fat render off, so you'll get, like, a good amount of fat. So eventually the skin's gonna become crispy, like a chicharron. You guys know what a chicharron is, so basically you can eat it after this. I usually discard of it, you know, get rid of it. So it's getting there, slowly getting there. So you guys like cooking? Are you guys like big cookers? I don't cook a lot, but I, I would want to if I you had would want like, to? You know, more time slash a Oh, more kitchen. time? Gotcha. <laughs> I feel like the same way. <laughs> it's hard to cook in the kitchen too. Yeah. Oh, well, why? What's that? Oh, like stuff. That's true. I'm not the biggest fan of electric ovens. I like the gas range, but we, we work with what we got, right? Mm. Awesome. But sometimes the kitchens are like dirty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gross. But there's no one to clean it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I feel like everyone knows she know how to cook. Everyone, I feel like everyone does know how to cook. You know, just like not having the time and all that, you know. Like for me, I always say, tell people like a recipe is like a foundation that you build off of. For me, like you build off that um, recipe and then you adjust it to your preference. Like I'm kind of a rule breaker when it comes to following recipes. Like I'll follow it to like a certain point, then like I'll branch out and do my own thing. But, you know, like. So this fat forming right now, if this was hotter, you could get more fat. But usually it would come to the foot in, but there we go. Let's see. So this is what we're gonna be using when we cook uh, the um, ginger, garlic, and chalice. So. Now, I'm going to show you how we, um, I guess you could say marinate the rice. So, so 
So here I have garlic. I'm cheating because you know I didn't want to miss it. But you could get it. You could miss it yourself if you have time. So it's gonna be about a tablespoon and a half of garlic. This is ginger. The same amount, a tablespoon and a half. Then I have shallots, which is like part of the onion family. That's gonna be about two tablespoons. You can smell that, because you gotta smell like the, so this is like, I love smelling this, like garlic with oil, with like the chicken fat, ginger. I love ginger, so ginger is one of my favorite herbs. So you wanna get this to a golden brown. You smell the aromas, everything's opening up as like we cook it in the oil. At this point, you, you want to get it to a little bit more of a golden brown. But it's almost getting there right now. So here I have three cups of rice. You can pour it in here. We'll turn it on the heat a bit. Medium. Then you just want to toss it, toast it a bit. You want to toast it. You just gotta mix everything in. super toasty it just has to be like you want to cover it up as much as like with all that those um the flavors of the shallots the garlic the ginger and the uh, chicken fat so at this point usually for when i do it i do three cups of rice to three and a half cups of um stock so usually in a rice cooker if you have a rice cooker it's a little bit less maybe three and a quarter worth but if you're doing it on a stove top three and a half cups with jasmine rice that is long grain so basically I would be using my stock so at this point you will want to put it in a bowl no no not in a pot you want to put it in a pot, but since I don't have a pot here, but but you guys know how the cheating me method of measuring rice. So I, I don't know, it might be an Asian thing. So basically, you lay the rice flat, and then you put your finger in. Then if the water reaches your first knuckle, that's perfect. That's the perfect ratio from rice and water. So basically, you will cook it in a pot or a rice cooker, cover it about for like 15, 20 minutes, and you just wait. But Oh, you have it cooked, so you don't have to wait. So, got that. Tense off. Okay, the next step is going to be the sauce. So, these are the three main sauces that we eat. We have some fermented soybean paste, which is like a key ingredient to this dish. We have a uh, black sweet soy sauce, which is a uh, sweet soy sauce. It's thicker than regular soy sauce, and we have regular soy sauce. So basically, what we're going to be doing, usually, traditionally, you use a mortar and pestle. So you pound everything in, all the ingredients. 
and then you like you mix it in. But you know, since we have blended now, why not use a blender? So what we would do, we we'll put like a cup for it. So right here's the cup. You guys know what uh, soybean paste is? You guys know what miso is, right? Mm -hmm. Soybean paste, miso. So you put that much in, a cup square. tablespoons worth of garlic. About two and a half tablespoons worth of ginger. As you can see this dish is like have a lot of like ginger and garlic in it. I don't know if you guys look you feel like that. Ginger, garlic, um We're going to add two tablespoons of black soy sauce. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're going to add two tablespoons of regular soy. So this is type chili. I don't know if you got like heat, but you know, <laughs> depending on the heat, I usually use maybe like three to four. So I'm gonna use like maybe like three little ones. Three little. You could remove the seeds if you don't want it to be too spicy. So to remove the seeds, you just Open it up, get take it. So once you remove the seeds, it can be spicy. But always wash your hands. You don't want to, you know, burn yourself or make you rub your eyes or anything. So I'm gonna do this. So maybe I'm gonna do this. Add that in. Some of the stock. I like to. This is about a cup's worth. I'm gonna do half a cup. It's made of like eight ounce, so for six ounce. Then I got some lime. So to get the juices out of lime, you know you want to roll it, massage. So it's easier to get the juices out. So the kitchen trick, if you don't have a uh, juicer, just use a taunt. Easy. Like yeah, there you go. <laughs> About you gotta do. Yeah, so use taunts, you know. The lime juice actually brings up the sauce. So it's gonna be a little bit sour, salty, sweet and they have a little kick to it. There we go. This time, I will add a little bit of cilantro. A little bit of cilantro. Then, sugar. About, we'll start off with maybe four, four tablespoons. But you could like that, said, you could adjust it to your liking. Then, there's plugs on this side, on this side so. All right, it's fine, I'm gonna show you. All you wanna do is just blend it.
So this is the sauce that's gonna go over your chicken and rice. And it's the main the main thing about it. It's the main part of the, the dish. Because without this, it, it'd just be chicken or rice. It wouldn't be anything unique about it. So you wanna taste it. Probably needs a little bit more acid. Maybe two more tapes. So any recipe is not always final. Basically, you taste and you know figure out what you like. If you like it more sweet, add more sugar. If you like it more salty, add more soy sauce. If you want it to be more acidic and bright, add more lime and um, cilantro. Just about there. So after we after we finish um, cooking everything, everything's done. The chicken's done. Usually we'll pull the chicken out. Already got the chicken done. Let's pretend that, you know, we were cooking and like we were waiting, like, hey, what's up? What you, what you, doing? you know, how's your boyfriend, you know? All that. And then, oh, the food's done. So, the chicken will come, we'll pull the chicken out of the stock. Let's say this chicken wasn't cut yet. This chicken. So you want to slice it into pieces. So slice it into pieces. So so let's say yeah, there's this chicken right here. It's a whole chicken. So basically, let's say it's a whole chicken dye that you wasn't cut yet. After you take it out of the stock, you want to cool it down a bit. And then after that, you just want to slice. You want it thick, slice it thick. If you want it thin, slice it thin. Pretty much it. Then, plate it up. The rice should be done. So this is a finished product from the one I made earlier. So it's gonna just smell like the garlic and the ginger and the shallots. And that. So it's gonna, have, it's gonna be like, so when you cook it, you wanna mix it, so mix it well. You don't want it to just coat the top. So it should be a little bit fatty, but not too much fat. So you you would basically, I don't know, do that please? Yeah. So basically, let's imagine in our heads, we have a plate. I'll scoop some rice. I'll put the, I'll put the chicken on top. I'll ladle some sauce on, and then I'll finish it off with some cilantro, and garnish with um, cucumbers. And that's basically it. This is like one of these foods. Like it's simple to make. It's a favorite uh, street food in uh, you know Southeast Asia. It's just something simple to eat. It's good like when it's winter time. 
I don't feel like you guys could make this if you wanted to. The ingredients are like pretty easily accessible. Have you guys been down to um, Argyle and Broadway? No? None of you guys have? No. You have, right? So yeah, they have a bunch of uh, great um, Southeast Asian restaurants. If you like pho, you guys like you know pho? Yeah, pho. Vietnamese food, they have a uh, Thai street food. They have a bunch of markets, so you could easily get these ingredients there. But yeah, they also have like, I know you guys like bubble tea. <laughs> they have a big bubble tea, they have kung fu tea down that way. I can't believe it's not even that far. <laughs> it's like 10, 15 minutes away. You guys to walk there, you know, and then it's nice today. But yeah, if like that, if you guys want to ever get these ingredients, you know, want to try something new, I would suggest you guys walk that way, you know. I know Thursday nights they have like a little street fest over there, you know, but it's good. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, it's not too complicated. It's pretty like straightforward.